Today we're diving into the nitty gritty of Oculus Quest 3 and DevHub. I'm here to show you how to fine tune your refresh rate for some next level gaming. If you stick around near the end of the video, I'll show you how to get under 60 hertz as well as anything you want. You can even get 37.5 hertz if you want, something like that. First things first. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you have short arms? I'm all right, um, um. Do you have short arms? I don't have short arms. I have long arms. Excuse me. Do you have short arms? Yes. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have short arms? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you have short arms? Well, if so, then I've got a solution for you. Well, if you really want to know, then you better listen to me because I'm about to tell you about the AMVR extended grips that offer Quest 2. These are the newer versions and they're actually a lot sturdier, they look a lot cooler and they feel a lot better as well and they clip on a lot better too. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we go. So basically, um, watch this. So first of all, what you got to do is you got to clip this on here. It's nice and simple. And then you put this string through this little tiny hole down here. It can be a bit of a struggle. And then you put it in there and then you move that bit down and you clip it in it's nice and simple then you got to twist this around here and then it hooks onto this little bit here you hook it on just like this like that and then you got to push this bit down right here and uh, uh, there we go and then that's it you're all done and it's absolutely amazing also i'd like to let you know that they can be used for gorilla tag for supernatural for beat saber for fruit ninja for ragnarok and for badminton king these grips make your quest 2 gaming better they keep your controllers safe with a special design and triple protection. The soft sponge grip feels lovely and it's very comfortable and the oval shape is also comfy. These accessories are supposed to last a long time. You can get the most out of your VR with these Zane VR grips. First things first, hop over to Oculus Dev Hub website and grab the download. It's quick and painless, just follow the steps and you'll plug your headset into your computer allow the prompt that comes into your headset and then click on create command and just paste this in. And this is what we're going to be working with the whole time. So make sure you keep this. Now, once you've got DevHub all set up, it's time to tweak that refresh rate on your Quest 3 or Quest 2 or Quest 1. Let's start with a solid 60 hertz. But here's the kicker. We're going to do some math. So I hope you pass your exams. Right here, take a look at this command. You see that 120 there? That's going to set your refresh rate to 60 hertz. But hold on to your hats, yeah? The real magic comes in with this little number. See that 2 right there? That's your swap interval is halving your refresh rate. So when you set your refresh rate to 120, the swap interval is two, you're effectively getting 60 hertz. It's like slicing a pizza into smaller slices, mate. Each slice is half the size, but you still get the same amount of pizza. But what if you want to dive even deeper? What if you want to explore refresh rates lower than 60? Well, buckle up, because we're about to get experimental. Right, you see that command right there? That desired refresh rate part? That's where the magic happens. Wanna go for 45? Stick in 90. Feeling daring with 30 hertz, slapping 60. It's all about finding that sweet spot for your gaming. So there you have it. Let's say download Dev Hub and tweak your refresh rate and unlock a world of possibilities on your Oculus 3. Now go and forth and game like never before. Just don't tell anyone you're using lower than 60. You didn't hear this from me. Goodbye.